Amazon's new Lord of the Rings TV series is set to take place in the second age of J.R.R. Tolkien's Middle-earth. Recently, it's been reported that three of the most iconic characters from the Lord of the Rings trilogy will be making appearances in this upcoming show. In a tweet from the One Ring.net, it was confirmed that Galadriel, Elrond, and Sauron will have roles in the series. To many Tolkien fans, this does not come as too much of a surprise, since all of these characters were around Middle-earth through the entirety of the Second Age. In this video, I'd like to cover what this news means for the possible setting of this show, and speculate as to what storylines we may see in this series. Because it's been confirmed that these three characters will be in the first season of this show, it appears more likely that this series will begin in the first half of the Second Age. If I had to guess, I would think it would be fitting for this show to begin around the year 1200 of the Second Age. This is when Sauron assumes a fair form, calling himself Anatar, and disguising himself as the Lord of Gifts and an emissary from the Valar. Under this guise, he arrives seeking entrance to Linden, an important elvish realm known for its harbors. Upon meeting Anatar, Elrond and Gilgalad sensed that this newcomer was not what he seemed and denied him entrance to Linden. Their misgivings were proven correct as Sauron's true identity and depth of his evil were later revealed. If you'd like to find out more about Sauron's activity in the Second Age, be sure to check out my Amazon Prime Lord of the Rings video entitled Sauron Rises. To summarize, although Sauron was denied entry to Linden, he was gladly received by the elves in Eregion, where the Noldorean Smiths learned much from him in the ways of art and magic. Under Anatar's tutelage, they were able to forge the Rings of Power while Sauron secretly forged the One Ring to rule them all. Once Sauron put on the One Ring, the elves immediately sensed him and subsequently hid the other Rings of Power. This triggered his assault on Eregion, a conflict which came to be known as the War of the Elves and Sauron, and began a period of the Second Age referred to as the Dark Years which saw the spread of the Dark Lord's power over the world. Galadriel was one of the elves of Eregion who took an immediate distrust to Anatar upon his arrival. It was she who advised Celebrimbor to hide the rings, and when Eregion was attacked by Sauron, Galadriel was entrusted with one of the three great rings of the elves. Her ring was called Nenya, the Ring of Water. The powers of Nenya were protection, preservation, and concealment from evil. Being fully aware of Sauron's power and wishing to frustrate it, Galadriel did not openly use the powers of her ring as long as Sauron possessed the One Ring. However, when the One Ring was lost during the Third Age, she did use Nenya to protect the borders of her realm. Two years into the War of the Elves and Sauron, Elrond was sent to Eregion by Gil-galad in an attempt to protect it from Sauron's invading forces. Unfortunately, Elrond's forces were too weak, and he was unable to hold off Sauron's army. He then retreated north with a company of elves from Eregion, and it was during the following two years that he founded Rivendell at the feet of the Misty Mountains. Rivendell survived as one of the last remaining strongholds against Sauron until the end of the Third Age. I for one would love to see these events and the founding of the iconic haven of Rivendell. The confirmation of these characters appearing in the first season of this new show lead me to believe that at least the series will feature the forging of the Rings of Power along with Sauron's creation of the One Ring. The events I've discussed so far would provide the three characters of Elrond, Galadriel, and Sauron some excellent opportunities to interact with one another. As far as casting goes, though these three characters are younger in the Second Age, they are immortal beings so it doesn't really make sense for Galadriel and Elrond to look younger than they would appear in the Third Age. That being said, there's been no word yet on who will play Elrond, but the youthful-looking Morphid Clark has been cast and is rumored to be playing Lady Galadriel. Joseph Maul is also rumored to be the main villain of the show, and given the lore of the Second Age, the argument could be made that Sauron is this villain. The Second Age presents so many opportunities for good storytelling. 
Many are worried that this series will not do justice to the source material, and for the showrunners, it will certainly be a challenge to make an adaptation that lives up to fans' expectations. The Tolkien estate, however, has veto power over any creative choices in this series, and this is to ensure that the main shape of the Second Age is preserved. I think it's too much of a coincidence for these three characters to have been confirmed for us not to see the story of the War of the Elves and Sauron depicted, or at least heavily referenced in this upcoming Amazon series. But I'd like to know what you think of this news. Are you excited to see more from the characters Sauron, Galadriel, and Elrond? Or maybe not. Are there other stories involving these characters in the Second Age that you'd like to see unfold in the series? Definitely let me know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe for more Lord of the Rings and other sci-fi and fantasy content. Thank you all so much for your support, and as always, have a very nerdy day.